Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a Cupertino tab scaffold. Before you watch this video, I recommend that you check out the Cupertino tab bar, which basically I created this. This navigation bar is just optional. So I created this. This usually goes hand in hand with the Cupertino tab scaffold. I wanted to do them separately and do this one first so I could, you know, sh you know show you how that works separately and not confuse you when, you know, integrating it with the tab scaffold so what we want to do is you know all of this is basically going to go in one capacity or another so for now i'm going to leave because we're going to need that so i'm going to put another return don't worry we're not only going to have the one return i'm going to delete the other one i'm going to put cupertino tab scaffold i'm going to put a semicolon and inside of here, what we are going to put is where am I looking? Oh, sorry, we're going to put tab bar, tab bar, and this tab bar is going to be the Cupertino tab bar, which is what we've got right here. So I'm going to literally cut this out. So you'll see, we'll still be pretty much having most of this code. It's just going to be a rearranged slightly. And obviously there's no child here because it is part of the tab bar property. And let me sort out all the indentation for everything. Okay, so there we go. Next, what we want to do is you want to here. So you really only one more property, which is tab builder. Here, you want to do build context, build context. We're going to call the context and put int index inside of here. We are going to return a Cupertino tab view. We need a semicolon and inside of here we're gonna have another builder and it's gonna build context context and that's it for this one we're gonna have the curly braces and inside of here we're going to basically have we are going to return our Cooper Tino page scaffold, which is basically what we you know got here. So we can actually cut it. And let me yep, that's what we want. Let's see if I can move it like this. There we go. And yeah, so we should be all ready to actually run now. So I'm gonna save it, it's gonna hot reload. As you can see, it's the same as before, but this is now at the bottom now and it is integrated with a Cupertino tab scaffold, but you can still use the regular item. There's just a few extra, you know, widget items that essentially contain all of the rest of the stuff. As an extra task, what I want you to do is have a look at displaying items here, depending on what is clicked. You can keep it simple, just like put one widget there. If you got that now, then the rest should be simple. A little clue here is where we would put the widgets and we've got a container you could create this container as a variable so just this part have maybe three different containers and essentially that container variable is assigned here that container variable gets updated depending or something that depending on what the index is you can check for that here we're using a switch statement or an if statement and that's it that's really all there is but if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.